Very cool. So, hi, how are you doing? I feel like we haven't played D&D &D in like 400 years. I know, right? Yeah. It's great Where to be back. What was the last time you guys played? Uh, 400 years ago. 400, actually 400 years ago. <laughs> yeah. That that uh, D20 that's in the Metropolitan Museum, that was ours. That was. <laughs> it was the like first game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, cool. One second, one second. I played a couple weeks ago. Did you really? I'm going to play this Saturday. Oh, cool. I played a, a, a seven hour game on Sunday. Good Lord. Yeah, that's what we do. My group does uh, once a month a Saturday, and we've gone to like 10 hours before. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And now I'm rolling up a second game for Storm King's Thunder with a second group. Yeah, Whoa. crazy. You can't stop there. You have to keep going. <laughs> I know. It's like a drug. <laughs> I need more D&D &D in my life. Always, always and forever. All day. We're, there. <laughs> we're still kind of getting the hang of Yeah, we're still getting used to it. Of it. I feel like you, you guys are doing great. Are you kidding me? Aw, shucks. Aw. <laughs> I think we've done okay. I still haven't figured out how to mark my character level two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a thing now, huh? Yeah, you guys are yeah, yeah. moving up in the world. You're big oh, yeah. time. That's true. Level two. Like, I just can't. I don't know how I was able to actually make it a ranger level one at one point, but now I can't actually do it. Hmm. Hey, Twitchy Coffee, thank you very much. Nice. I'm out. Oh, wait. I'm... Oh, wait. I figured it out, guys. Figured it out. <laughs> Really easy. Okay, so you guys ended up here at the cave in the caves of chaos. Mm -hmm. So we, we were right by the front door. It was uh, I think we jumped over a hole or someone was over a hole. Yep, there was there was a pit that was um, just before the um, hallway split into two, and. I know that, I remember that um, Rookie had jumped over, uh, most spectacularly, over the, over the pit. Most spectacularly. Ave, Aver and um, Barakus are still by the door. They were fighting off um, a couple of kobolds by the door. And Arcasynth, you were right in the middle of them, right before the edge of the pit. Great. Should we do a quick introduction of our characters? Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, I'll go first. We are Arkison. We're a two headed elf situation. <laughs> situation. <laughs> we I were, like an elf situation going. <laughs> we were once two uh, separate elves. Um, I'm Hyacinth Ceridian, and uh, this is Archimedes Patilok. Um, I'm a wood elf, and you are a um, high elf. High Elf. Um, our background is Sage Hermit. We're wizards um, and we're uh, neutral alignment. Uh, we were cursed by Bethilda, an angry. Is she a witch? I can't remember. No, she's a gypsy? I don't know. She was a, an angry magic person <laughs> and a uh, person with magic. And she uh, cursed. She was cursing other people around us, but it rebounded and hit us, and now we're attached. So. Yeah. So, in order for people to um, uh, to just quickly refer to us, we're we're Arkison. Pretty sure that. Arkison. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like hyacinth, the flower, and Arkansas. See what you did there. I see. <laughs> elves. Someone else came up with that name. Yeah. Sure. We're very squishy as well. Nah. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, because we have a. Class. We have, we're level two. And we have ten hit points. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> that, that... <laughs> did I say that out loud? <laughs> what did he say in here? I just said, "Oh damn!" Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Alyssa, who are you playing? I am playing Rookie, my half elf monk. Mm. Um, she has an awesome pet spider named Hila, uh, who who resides in her pocket most of the time, but, you know, sometimes lead, leads the way to uh, scary giant lions. Mm -hmm. um, 
And uh, I'm a germaphobe. I'm typically slightly suspicious of others, but at the same time, I usually go with the flow. Um, and I will sometimes, only sometimes, torture bad people if I need to get answers. <laughs> only sometimes. Only sometimes. So we're good. We're good, guys. <laughs> what was your character's name again? Uh, rookie. Ru oh, you're Rookie. That's it. And Rick, who are you uh, thinking about playing? Our new member. That's right. Um, so I'm playing a, a human ranger. Um, I don't want to give away too much. Uh, yeah. Maybe save that for some of the introduction when when you guys happen to, upon me. Yeah. Um, but uh, he's he's from uh, Goodmead of Ten Towns up in Icewind Dale, where he made his life as a sort of scout and caravan guard for the uh, um, for the Northern Sword Coast. Um, got himself into a little bit of trouble up there um, and has been running from his situation ever since where he's made his way down the Sword Coast, through Luskin, Neverwinter, down to Waterdeep, not really staying in one place for too long um, until he eventually ran afoul of some goblins, apparently. And that's where he is now. In a oh. dark cave chained to a wall. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Cool. Well, yeah. and who are you, Eric? I am just some guy that likes to tell stories. That's about it. <laughs> That's is that, good. Is that your, your bio and everything? I, I yeah, that I think I'm going to actually change that now that, now that you mentioned. It. I, think, I feel like that that's about right. You're just here for the dice. Yeah, I, I just like to roll dice and like lots of them. <laughs> Papa needs new shoes, you know. I okay. am your DM. Yay! So. Where we took off last time, um, Rookie, you see, um, as you jump, as you killed the last kobold at, across the pit, you see a door to your right, and you hear um, down the left hallway, you just hear a muffled, <laughs> you can't make out really what he sound or what what's being said, but. It doesn't sound like uh, it's something happy. Okay. Um, so is everyone else on the other side of the hole? Do they have to jump over? Yeah, they're going to have to jump over. Okay. Um, Arcus, so you're, you're closest to the pit. And <laughs> um, Aver and Baracus are at the door, or at the entrance right now. And how many, how many uh, of the bad dudes are we fighting right now? None. You killed them all. So, oh, great. So they're all, they're, you see bodies. Just, guys. Yeah. You see yeah. bodies hanging around, uh, you know, limp, lifeless on the floor. I think Should when, we loot anything? Should we check them, see if they have any goods? You can if you want, yeah. Should do that. Um, on these kobolds, you find um, just every every one of them has a dagger if you want to take the daggers. Any, anything special about the daggers or that is kind of normal? No, they're, they're, they're dull and. They don't look like they don't look like they're any it, and nothing fancy about them. All right, it's run in the mill stormtrooper weapons. Yeah, yeah, can't hit anything. It's great. Yeah. You want to take the guys? So uh, do you guys want to try to jump over then, or should I scout ahead? What What would you guys prefer? Uh, I mean, we can give it a shot to try to meet up with you. I mean, you are going into a cave. Probably doesn't hurt to have someone with you. Yeah, that's true. Um, our athletics is pretty weak. Do you have you have rope on you, right? You could you um, lash a, like a swing for us or something? Yeah, um, Eric, is there like a stalagmite that I could hook it on to and then they can make it taut over on the other side with a different, I don't know. How, there, I don't know how it is. There is a... Is like tight or stalagmite? <laughs> <laughs> who knows the difference? Well, this, this could, who knows the difference? This could determine the whole thing. Rick, you're not here yet. <laughs> <laughs> So if it's on the ground, if they're both on the ground, then we could tie it taut, and then they could try to cross their way. Is that um, a stalagmite or stalactite? Well, stalagmites on the ground, and stalactites from the from the ceiling. There you go. Okay, right. so there is a there is a stalagmite on the ground next to you, <laughs> seeing as you knew the right terminology. <laughs> Cause I didn't. So there is. <laughs> So yes, yeah, I used she, to collect rocks as a kid. So you know, <laughs> I have issues. 
So you, you do see one um, in front of you, but there isn't one on the other side. Are there any stalactites up above us? Yes. Or anything anything that we could lash a, a rope around to make a swing of some nature? Yes. A la... Is anyone? Well, if you guys... Rodeos. If you guys um, tied it around the stalactite and I tied it around the, stala the stalagmite, you guys could technically just like um, slide down it onto the other side. Yeah, you could you could like um, data it from the Goonies from one yeah, house exactly. to the to the next. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. shoes, you guys, like shoes. Um, <laughs> wait, so okay, so you're saying so she's below us, like she's down below us? No, she's across from you, but the the stalagmite is on the floor at her end, and there's a stalactite on your end. Can we reach it? Is it like too high? Is it not, not too high? Arkasin, you you could reach it. Okay, we should do that. So you should tie your rope over onto your side and chuck the uh, the loose side over to us and see if we can do this. Okay. You want uh, she... to? Tula is a our, our rookie. Oh yeah, so I can I can throw the yeah. Uh... It's your rope. We don't yeah. have it. Yeah, I'm throwing it. Okay, I'm gonna tie it around first, and I'll, I'll check the the other side too. Okay, cool, right. cool, cool. So you you tie it around uh, the stalagmite mm -hmm. on the floor. Mm -hmm. And you toss it over uh, to Arcosynth. Make me a, a strength check. Oh no! Okay. Well, it's tied up, so if you miss, you can just pick it up and try it again. Right? Yeah, that's true. That's oh, going to watch you fail miserably yeah. in front of us. <laughs> that's fine too. Okay, here we go. Boop. Yeah, <laughs> that's my life. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, so uh, you you toss it and it, it just it like fizzles out of your hand like it slipped and falls into the pit. <laughs> All right, well grab it and try it again. <laughs> I'm gonna grab it and try it again. <laughs> Here's the next three hours of our campaign. Yep, that, this go. is it. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was so close. And it falls into the pit again. Oh no! And we reach, but just it's just out of our grasp. Actually, okay. Arkison, do you want to you want to make me a dex check? Sure. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you reach for this rope and just you, you actually slip on the ground and you're you're you catch yourself right before you fall into the pit, but your your face is hanging over the edge. So you're staring like down in the pit, like oh my god. Oh man, <laughs> guys, if you find me, just leave me in the cave. <laughs> you, it's like you've been with us the whole time. <laughs> Adventurers, you don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> okay, Rookie, you want to try it one more time? <laughs> Not really, but I will. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, can I like, can I like flip and throw it and use my momentum instead of my strength? Sure. Uh, uh, okay. Get, do an acrobatics check. Okay. It's, that was acrobatics. Whoa! <laughs> no. That was strength. Oh well. I, I, well, we, we know your your dex is high anyways, right? Okay, yeah. So um, now on the third attempt, third time is definitely the charm for you. <laughs> you. You do a flip as normal and then toss it over as you come out of the flip. And Arcasynth, you just snatch that right in the air because it came directly, directly to you. Nice. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right, so we, we're going to go ahead and tie it up to the slag tight okay. and make sure it's very, very secure. Yep. And so we can use that to uh, data from the Goonies slick shoes over. Do we have something we can wrap around the rope so that we don't burn our hands? We're also, I mean, we're, we're elves, so we're pretty fleet, fleet of, of movement, right? So Yeah, yeah you're, you're pretty good. But I don't know. I don't know do, you, do you have something? Uh... <laughs> we, we have a quarter staff that we can like. And a, and you a, do. That's a good idea. Yeah, we we have a uh, yeah we have a lizard man talon. We need the quarter staff. All right, we're gonna use our quarter staff and like put it over like Donatello would. Okay. And slide down. <laughs> so, so so you hop up, you take this quarter staff, and the you feel the rope bend a little bit when you uh, kind of hop Not on. Really. Do you want do you want to let go with your feet? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I changed my mind. How, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Just one more question. How yeah. deep is the hole? Um, it's about 15 feet deep. Oh, okay. So it's I'll not be an ready to pit. catch them. Oh. Then I do want to go. Let's do it. Okay. okay. So you're, you're holding on and you 
just let go with your feet and <laughs> zoof, you fly right across and you make it to the to the end uh, of the rope. Do you want to do anything spectacular? Oh, I think, I, think I do like. I was, just, uh, I was like holding my breath, waiting for a butt. Yeah, I think all the way down, we do like a, like a lean left, and then pull our, our momentum right and do like a flip, like spin curl hook, and land right next to Rookie. And it happens, Rookie. Uh, how do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm a little perturbed. Ta-da! <laughs> the prestige. <laughs> yeah. I, I put up my hand for a high five. You can leave me hanging if you want. I understand. We roll. Let, okay. yeah, I want. I really want. I really want him to leave you hanging, but then I high five you. Oh, we throw. Oh. <laughs> Man, you guys can't even high five. I think we slapped her in the face. <laughs> uh, I have. I have a red imprint on my hand for the next hour. <laughs> That's Wait. the best. So you literally go to high five her, miss her, slam your hand against <laughs> against the ground, okay. and then fall backwards. And now you, the back of your head is falling off the edge of, into the pit. <laughs> God. And you guys killed a bunch of goblins or something? <laughs> uh, just cobalt, just cobalt. Somehow, cobalt. by sheer luck. We destroyed a lot of trees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We were one of those characters that like is so clumsy that they end up killing everyone, but not intentionally. Yeah, it's like drunken master style. Yeah, yeah. very much so. Comedy of errors. <laughs> All right, so we're over here now. Do All we right. worry about uh, about uh, the other guys? No, uh, to your right, you. Oh yeah, Arcasynth. Sorry, Arcasynth and uh, Baracus start running towards the pit, and you see them try and want to. Aver, 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 Aver. Sorry, Aver. And Baracus jumps up onto Aver's shoulders. And then Aver does the same thing, but just with his hands onto the rope. And you see him start to slide down the rope, slide down the rope. And then you you just see his hand, you just hear him yell out a little bit, like he can't hold on. And he falls down into the pit no. with Baracus. Oh, no. Are, are they dead? I don't know. <laughs> You guys look into the pit? <laughs> yeah, I was looking. I was looking into the pit and check on them. Do we okay. have like an orb that we can like that we can make um, glow and and we can send it down there? You can see down the pit. Oh, okay. Um, so, well, so are we still on our backs? Can we roll over and start yeah, looking you, down <laughs> So you you see you see this all happening as you're laying on your back and you're like, what the heck is going? On? And then you roll over and look down and they're definitely still alive. They're just knocked out. But at the bottom of the pit. Great, morons. <laughs> well, but they're, I, they've, they they high fived each other as they hit the ground, so their hands are like this. I think uh, was that yeah, successful? Yeah. Was that high five successful? Yes, their high five um, was successful. They're still in high five <laughs> um, in the stance. Of yeah, where yeah. they like, died high fiving. And... Yeah, but they're still alive. You can still see them breathing. They're just knocked out. Okay. okay. So are the and the lizard men are definitely dead. Yes, they're all yeah. Okay, then yeah, you I killed those guys on the way down. Yeah. I hear someone in peril. We must go. You're gonna leave that was, the friends. That was supposed to be much funnier than it was. <laughs> well, yeah, so I guess I thought it was pretty heroic. Yeah. <laughs> Are they safe down there? Can we just let them chill there until we come back? I think we should. Can we throw some lizard man talons at them? <laughs> you could. Do we do do we have like a ration that we can throw down just to be safe so they don't eat each other so that like we can they can just you know have some food when they wake up? How? Are they all dead? Who the lizard men? Yeah. Oh, no, they're the, in the pit. They're all dead in the pit. Oh, okay. Except except for Aver and Baracus. Oh yeah, so Aver. So can we throw some rations down there just in case? Sure. Okay, Absolutely. I'm gonna throw some rations down there. Oh, you're Aww. so sweet. <laughs> just kind of bonk off his neck. <laughs> so you, so Don't you just throw the knife. Yeah. Don't throw the knife. <laughs> yeah, you ju you just see this. You see the ration go. And the the ration actually Wilhelm screams down the the, <laughs> the pit. It's kind of terrifying, actually. Yeah, it's a, it's a little scary. <laughs> Okay. So All right. Well, Rookie, what do you what do you there's, think? There's what nothing. Are we doing? Me, I'm I'm hyacinth. I know, but I'm. I was saying you were talking, so I said, "What do you think?" Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's like, how could you forget? <laughs> I'm literally attached. <laughs> um, uh, I think that we should uh, that there's they're knocked out, and we hear someone 
that is obviously struggling. So I, I want to, I'm going to let them do their thing in the pit, knowing that they're fine. And we want to run to the person who is conscious and struggling. All right. Or the, the, the noise. Works for me. Okay. So the, like I said before, there's the door on the right and then you see now that you're over there, you see a hallway that's about 30 feet down. And you, you just hear... I don't think I'm I bad. Think... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more of a... I don't know. Is it... <laughs> um, can we send uh, Helob down there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. What <laughs> the hell is Helob? Uh, who the hell is Helob? I'll tell you. Is our... Yeah, you <laughs> show up. Oh, hey. God. I love that. that. Terrifying, it actually has the hook on it. Secretly, you love him. By the... Everyone does. <laughs> yeah, let's send Helob down there. Okay. Well, um, as a character, I have my, my motivation now. <laughs> Later. Okay. okay. So you send. So, yeah. We, yeah, I, I, we're, we're just going to send Hila up there and just chill here? Well, we just want to send him ahead in front of us so that we know, like, we're not going into any, like, it's not, not a trap. Like, I just want to make sure that we're not going into a trap or anything. Okay. Um, could I also stealth up with Hila and um, see if I see anything suspicious, uh, suspicious I guess? Sure. Do it. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, so you stealthily walk up the um, the hallway. It starts to smell a little bit more pungent and nasty. It sounds like it smells a little bit like something's been dead for a while. Um, but roll me a stealth check. Stealth check. Stealth okay. check. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh God, <laughs> what is going on today? Well, it's better than the three, right? Yeah, yes. Like an average DC is 10 and everything has been all under. <laughs> <laughs> the accidental strength was good. Okay, so... <laughs> That's true. So you get up to... Well, let me get this. Oh, that's what you're, you're unfog of warring it. Cool. Yeah. So you get up to right about here, right till um, the hallway takes a turn to the right. And Helob went uh, up in front of you a little bit, and, but then you see him run back and run up and up and underneath your shirt to, onto your shoulder, and he, okay. you can just you can feel his uh, hook pushing out against your shirt forward, or it's pushing backwards. <laughs> but as you turn the corner, or as you look around the corner, you just see a lot of garbage that's littered all around the floor, and you see uh, six giant rats surrounding and and you see a um man chained up against the wall and on his good days he'll he would look um like that not like that he, <laughs> on his on his good days he would look oh. like that oh wow but this is not his good day so he doesn't look like oh, that you didn't, you didn't see that you can see no. the, the incredible drawing that Rick did in like two minutes. He it's amazing. He squashed it. <laughs> <laughs> roll twenty. <He's>, yeah. <laughs> um, how tall? How tall is is uh, this person? Is the, your character? If you don't mind. Like six feet. Mm -hmm. Like almost on the dot. Okay, and sorry. but you see him chained against the wall. You see the arrows that would have normally been in his quiver, in his mouth, kind of gagging <laughs> him a little. Oh, okay, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, horizontally. <laughs> exactly. He's 33 feet tall. 33 <laughs> feet tall. And... He's a giant. He's got. He's a giant. And Rookie, um, as as you're looking around the corner, one of the rats notices you and runs and, and starts to attack you. Oh God! It comes up to you and bites you. What's your AC? Does a twelve hit? Uh, it is. Doop, doop, doop. Um, no, it does not. Okay. Did I see the? Uh, was this a, a a surprise attack round? 
Yes. Or did I see it? Okay. Oh, you saw no, you saw it happening, but Did I? Okay. He came up pretty quick. Okay. Um how big is this rat? Is it like an RUS? It, it's a, a what? Like an RUS. Unusual size. Size. An unusual size, Eric. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Unusual size. Sorry. Yes. yes. Sorry. yes. <laughs> you have to turn in your nerd badge. I know. For my, at least a day. My card just <laughs> drop. Yes, it is. Right. From Princess Bride. I knew it was. It's a, it's a, it's a, I didn't know it was. She's from Australia. She has an excuse. <laughs> I, I, I have nothing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the nerd part. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, is it like that big or is it a slightly smaller? What are we talking here? Um, It's about four foot tall. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's okay, big. It's bigger than an RUS. That's, that's like a rat man. Yeah. <laughs> They're big. It basically ate a halfling and called it a day. They're giant. <laughs> we got some giant okay. rats. Well, can I just like knock it out with a, the... Well, no, that would require a string. Um, actually, I can technically... Can I just try to knock it out with a punch? Sure. Yeah, yeah. punch the rat. <laughs> <laughs> can okay. we get our rat killing stick? <laughs> we left it in the basement of the bar. <laughs> Can I see this going on, Eric? What's going on? Yeah, you you can you can see it happening. Okay. And you're there. <laughs> what do we see? Do we see the rat go up and like? Can we see her? You can see her, and you can see something come up come up and hit her, but oh you, my God. you can't make out what it is. And you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you. That was also a stealth check too, wasn't? It? Oh no, no, it wasn't. You. No, that was from before. You went to punch the rat and just missed its giant forehead somehow. All right. Can we step forward and chuck a firebolt at the uh, gross rat? Actually, be effective. Yeah, you could. You could <laughs> roll well. Roll well. Yes. Don't you, run like Alyssa. <laughs> you can run up and uh, firebolt uh, the giant rat if you want. Wait. All right. How big let's is give that room? a shot. Huh? How big is the room? It's a 30 by 30 room. Oh, okay. Nobody wants to throw a fireball into a 5 by 5 room. No, no, fire bolt. Yeah, not fireball. Yeah, bolt. No, yeah. bolt. Yeah, bolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do we throw for that? Roll a d20. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> Just leave me in the cave. Go back the other way. I'll deal with this myself. Totally fine. Hey, Wait. we all have physical dice, so I would say it's a uh, it's technical difficulties. Wait, 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 wait. What did you roll? Uh, I roll. I, I rolled uh, a a twentieth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a legit one, dude. You I may have just so lit rookie bad. on fire. <laughs> did you? Did you? <laughs> oh so, no! So, <laughs> Jesus. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> so you are you're running, and as you're running, and you're you try to cast this fireball because you see this this giant rat biting into Ruki, um, and it you miss the rat, and it the fireball goes right underneath Ruki, and she jumps out of the way but falls back falls down because she was trying to not get burnt by the fire. Sorry. I'm prone right prone? now. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's okay. I'd rather be prone than on fire right now. So, <laughs> yeah. This is great. <laughs> okay, Rookie, you're up. Okay. Um, where is the rat in relation to myself? <clears throat> There's the. So you're on the ground now. You fell backwards because you did like one of those banana slips, you know? Banana? Yeah. And now the the rat is at your ankles. Okay, I'm gonna just try to kick it with my monk kick. Okay, you also see um, four more rats coming in your direction. Gross. I, I'm just gonna yeah, crawl, can actually. Can I just crawl? No <laughs> way. <laughs> um, Is there anything I could do? Like, I'm not, like, if there was a turn or just like kick a rock or something. Yeah, you're tied up right now, right? Yeah, you're shackled. Like hella shackled, like yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Am I shackled oh, or am I ankles, hella shackled? Ankles yeah, and hands. I got my an oh, ankles and hands, and yeah. the arrows are like tied into my mouth, yes. like there's like a pause or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
You can carry on, guys. <laughs> oh, good question. You get is, to watch this comedy of errors happen in front of you. Yeah. Is there any way that I can? This is how you get exposed can... to your new party. <laughs> yeah, right. We're terrible. Welcome to the group. Um, is there any way that I could like pick the lock so he could help us? Or, or is you, that could, you could break good? though. You could probably. They don't look like they're overly strong chains. You could probably some find some way to break them. You should fly and kick at him. I'm going to fly and kick at him. Yeah. At shackles. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can throw some fireballs at you if you want. Give that a shot. <laughs> the fireball might be a better option. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, go big or go home, man. <laughs> Do it. Yeah? What? Wait, what? <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, so you're still on the ground right now. That's right. So okay. what do you want? So you see you have the one rat at your feet, and then four more are coming towards you. Do you want to try and... I thought and... there was only four in the cave total. But I... there, so... No, sorry. There's five. Okay. <laughs> okay, is there anything around me uh, environmental-wise? Environment-wise? Uh, just, just garbage. It just seems like rotting garbage. Rotting food that's that's around you. Okay. Ashroom. Oh. Okay. Can uh, uh, can I pick up some of the food and see if um, they are attracted to the the food? Sure. Okay. okay. So you pick up a pe you you find what's kind of like a decaying apple. Okay. And you pick it up and it the rat kind of looks at it. Sniffs it a little, and then dismisses you, and and doesn't doesn't and starts. Looks like he's getting very nasty again. It didn't it didn't really have much effect. Kind of like he's okay. like, hey, I'm over that. Okay. Do, does our animal animal handling skill help at all in this situation? Or are these things like rodents? So yeah, you probably wouldn't um, be able to uh, massage them into uh, being a friend. <laughs> All right, are we still on our feet, running towards? Uh... You are. Can it be a deception? I have a quick. I, oh, sorry. What were you saying, Rick? No, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <I'm from heroes. laughs> uh, yeah. I have a question. Have have uh, has Akasan seen um, the shackle guy yet? Or, um, we, or did we come in and we were so focused on Ruki that we're like, oh my gosh, Ruki, no. You you once you got up to where she was, yes, you do see the shackled. Man. Can Hyacinth be like totally useless because she sees the ranger and she's like, oh my god, that's the cutest ranger I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> and so now she's, yeah. Yeah. So now she's useless. <laughs> I'll just say Mad Mardigan seemed cute, but he was also very threatening. True. If I could, I'm to, if I could smolder with a mouth full of arrows. <laughs> It's like a, have you seen Tangled? Yes, that's where exactly what I'm yeah. thinking. <laughs> he tries to put on the smolder. <laughs> like, what are you doing with your face? Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm useless now. So you take the, you take Great. the reins. Great, all right. I'm like, oh my God, it's a wood ranger, dude. Well, I'd charge up another firebolt and uh, I'm gonna throw it towards uh, Rookie's feet at the uh, the the rats that are around her. Not not at the guy sh shackled, right? No, I'll, I'll let I'll let Hyacinth drool over him while I'm trying to deal with what's in front of us. Okay, so Don't give it a roll. Miss. <laughs> I like my feet. Oh god! Oh, god. What is happening? So you you charge up. <laughs> you no, charge. The algorithms are not in your favor. Yeah, you charge up your firebolt. You launch it down, and you you just see it go um, right in between uh, Rookie's feet, and dissipates on the ground. Does it at least frighten the rats a little bit? Yeah, the well, rats, they hit fire, right? Yeah, they, they they look a little flustered, but not it enough. Probably only makes it worse. But I think the, I think the rat was just insulted when he got offered a rotten apple. So, uh -huh. so I'm in the back, and I'm just like. <laughs> it's funny that's not the first time that's happened with a character <laughs> that's they just look at us in a very disappointing way yeah <laughs> okay so um this uh rat goes for you again rookie because he was not happy does a 15 hit probably hold on uh uh, uh yes yeah okay you take 
Uh, four points of damage. It bites. It bites into your ankle and just oh. bleeds a little bit. Oh, I, yeah, I, I wanted that to happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all part, part of your plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But when it's worse, More I snap them in. Happen, and I snap out of it, and I'm huh? like, "No, rookie!" And I am now normal again. Okay. Well, before that happens, yeah, before that happens, the other four rats come up, and three of them go for you, Arcasynth. Hmm. Does a eleven hit? Uh, we are we have an eleven armor class, so I guess no. Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Hit. You take two points of damage from one bite on the ankle. Ankle biters. Ankle biters. <laughs> the worst kind. The next one actually runs up the back of the first, uh, the ankle biter. So it's on top of the. Uh, so now you... it's eight feet tall. Yes, it's eight feet tall and biting, <laughs> trying to bite you in the neck, and it hits. <laughs> <laughs> so you now have like a cheerleading pyramid of rats in front of you. It's a rat totem. Yeah, <laughs> and it hits you, and and that bite it goes into your shoulder for about another two points. No. Okay. And the third rat. No damage. The third rat tries to slide underneath the bottom, the the rat on the ground's legs, and, and bite you. And I'm guessing a nine doesn't hit. Does not. Okay. And it misses. You're so dexterous. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Rookie, the the last rat comes up and goes after you. Six. And a nine is not going to hit, right? No. Okay. So that miss misses. So now, uh, All right. Rookie and Arkison, you're up. Okay. How close am I to the to the tower? Of the rats. Rat tower? Oh, the rat the rat tower. <laughs> The rat tower is right to your side because Arcasynth came up and rushed, rushed at you with the firebolt. So the the if you're you could literally reach out and okay, can I do hurt, hurt one the of those like, great dancing moves where like I spin my feet out um, on top of myself and then kick myself up and as I'm doing so I kick the the tower of rats um, so they all go flying. Absolutely, make me a acrobatics check. Like a Chun Li move. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Guys, we're gonna get this. Acrobatics. Robots in disguise. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you you complete your flip into the air. You spin around about three or four times. You, okay. And you jump up into the air. Mm-hmm. And I'll let you you get a an attack on him, but you're, uh, I don't, it won't knock him over. Okay. The rat tower is still in existence. Okay. So is it, <laughs> so is it 12 feet high now or just eight feet high? Um, it's eight feet high with one squished underneath. <laughs> Would we do more damage if so we it's just kind of, hit it with our, our quarter staff or throwing a firebolt? Probably still the firebolt. Will this count as an unknown unless you try? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But since you're so close, I'll give you advantage on the roll. All right. Because you're so literally going to be reaching out and... Yeah. Boop. All right, we're, we're going to freaking hit this damn thing. All right, so is it... But wait, uh, Rookie, you uh, have an attack. So, oh, Does sorry. it count as an unarmed strike then? Sure. Cool. Or, or, like, I can choose whatever. Yeah, you can go with whatever you want. Oh, okay. Uh... You're just not going to be up. A... It's... Whoa. That's, every... That's all the dice. Yeah, you, you, you roll all the dice. So yeah. what, what is that? 24 versus AC. That's not a hit nothing is. Yeah, you totally missed that. that uh, what? That rat. They're, they're, they're tough rats. No. Are they? No. Yeah. So, <laughs> Jesus. So, no, so, so you do your whirlwind up. Are you kicking or punching? Um, I'm... That was a kick. Okay. As, so a, yeah. as you jump up, you, you're able to kick the middle one right in the gut, and you hit, and... <laughs> it's max damage yeah you you wind up kicking through it and oh. it actually falls out of the totem and the the top one falls down <laughs> oh okay That's but still awesome. but it's still stacked as a totem yeah it's like those remember those cactus creatures in that super mario game yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah. like the middle one <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's awesome <laughs> so that Voltron. <laughs> For Voltron. Voltron. Yeah. 
So Arkansas, what you you see um, in front of you, this uh, rat just go flying against the wall, and then one drops the the top one drops down to about your chest height. Great. <laughs> I, want, I want to light one of these things on fire. Where did where? You know, I just want to beat it with a stick. I don't, think, I don't think I'll hit us hard. We're, we're wizards. Like we're oh, okay. we're not really strong. We have a negative one strength. So okay. All right, we're we're gonna light it on fire. God damn it! Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've got advantage on this roll because you're literally right in front of it. All right, so, so roll, roll again. again. Yeah. Oh. oh Jesus! What is happening? Um, you can add your you get to add your um, proficiency and your uh, modifier to this roll too. Oh, okay. Uh, proficiency. Just add everything until you win. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. But I, I mean, it's, uh, roll twenty is not calculating it in. Oh, okay. So is that plus five then? Because it's, it's intelligence, or was, right, either way, it's plus three. Yeah, you're so. you're a wizard, so it's going to be. Um, what's your intel intelligence modifier? Three. Uh, plus three, yeah. <laughs> and then our proficiency is plus two. Yeah. So you're. It's a plus. It's a plus five. There you go. So you had a nine and a. Five. So yeah, that that hits. Now roll some damage. All right. So it's a uh, firebolt is one d ten. Yep. Hey. Whoa! Another seven. So you generate this bolt of fire and just smash it against its for the the rat's forehead, and it just flies back off of the totem. So there's just nice. one rat now at your feet. <clears throat> And one is um, behind Rookie. And that one's going to strike you, Rookie. Okay. Does a 14 hit? Uh, no. No? No. No. Okay. And Arcasynth, the one that's at your feet, it wasn't really happy about being at the bottom of, of the totem. So. <laughs> Not our fault. Uh, does a 15 hit? But they're blaming you. Yeah, they're, they're all blaming you. Uh, 15 would hit. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, you take four points of damage. Oh my oh. god, we're almost dead. I know, four points at level two, that's everything. We have two of ten right now. All right, all right. so the rats have gone. You still see this uh, man chained up against the wall. And Rookie and Arcasynth, what do you want to do? Ark, uh, Rookie, you see a the rap that's behind you that's that scratched at your back but just missed, and Arcasynth, you still have the rat in front of you. How far away are we from the chained up person? Um, about twenty feet. Is that enough to run and get behind them as human cover? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, my back's against the wall. His back's Why? against the wall. Yeah, he's up against the wall. That's gonna be impressive okay. if you could. Would it invoke an attack of opportunity if we were to leave the rats and run over and try to break them free? Um, it depends on how you did it. Can okay, you do so over there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna flip our way over there. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm in. Okay. And she and how you you want to impress your new crush? No, doesn't Ricky have like great acrobatics? Well, we have a plus one in acrobatics. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna like I'm gonna run up on uh, up a wall and then just start flipping my way over there. What like spider climb? So no, well like 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 so here's the 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 wall. You run up and then you just kind of kick off of it. Mm -hmm. No, you, you know, jump. Oh, like oh, like yeah. cool. Like oh. like parkour. Yeah, like hardcore parkour. parkour. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, roll me an acrobatics <laughs> check. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Or terrible. Terrible, yeah. 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 <laughs> By great, I meant terrible, yes. <laughs> it's going to be great for the DM. Hey. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. So, <laughs> so you roll me a in a, an attack roll. An attack roll? Yep. Which kind? Or what? Like an unarmed strike attack roll? Yes. Okay. Jesus. Bam, son. Okay, so <laughs> you turn around facing the, the rat that's behind you. You jump up. You, you take your first step onto its head. And you as you do that, you have so much force that you crush his head onto the ground. 
and then make a leap off of his body, hit the wall, and you start running against the wall, much like um, Prince of Persia, right? You would be running over Mm -hmm. and jump down right in front of the guy that's shackled. Okay. Can I jump down to like where my eyes are like right looking straight in his eyes like an inch away? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. <laughs> I was saying the same thing. Yeah. The same exact thing. So, Arkasynth, you you see uh, Rookie do this. What do you want to do? Um. Hmm. She's in front of your new man. Oh no! I have. I it was a moment of like. <laughs> we never these for a while. Coming to trouble. She has a. Uh, no, I, I don't need to impress people. Okay. <laughs> um, Neither do I. I just do naturally with my flips. It's true. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, that one. Um, I don't know if we should. Parkour for life. I feel like we're not going to be very life. successful. We'll give it a shot. We're, 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 due. we're due. Well, remember, you, right, you, you embarrass me. Yeah, you still have this rat in front of you, too. At your ankles. Can we bounce off him? Can you, we, like. You can try. And step on his head on our way over. Hmm. Brutal. <laughs> it's, it's all, we're almost dead. <laughs> You're worried about um, being brutal. I think we should. I think we should try to like. We should. We should try to get over to Rookie. Maybe we can help unlock this guy while she holds back the uh, the rats. Well, do we not want to try to jump on the rat and then flip from that? Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna try. If we're gonna go out. We're gonna go out with a bang. Go ahead. <laughs> we're gonna try that. Okay. Yeah, make me make me an acrobatics check. Hey, there we go. Okay. So yeah. you try to jump off the rat, but you, you you wind up just like nudging his face and you you run around him and you get up to uh Rookie and you're right behind her. Good. So we're, she's she's between us and the rats. That's all I cared about. Yeah. So wait, did, did we do anything to the rat? No, no, no. It wasn't high enough to do anything to the rat. Oh. How, how do you um, how do you throw the uh, the spell where it's like it throws the uh, the d twenty in your your attack as well? That's Alyssa. a good question for Alyssa. Oh, I saw, um, I saw you do that. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, you go down into your attack, and I have like my short sword with my attack um, bonus and my damage listed out. So if you well, I've got like I've got spells, but I've got like everything kind of listed. I just don't know what to click to actually make it go. Oh, oh it's unclickable. You're, you're in your spell. Um, oh, I don't I have spells, so I don't know if it works for spells. Uh, I know what you're saying. So, like, there's some character sheets where if you actually click a spell, like cure wounds, it will actually roll it. In. Oh, does that work? Yeah, that worked. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, that was mine. I just... Oh. oh. I, I, we clicked actually... just as you hit that, as you said that. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got very excited. Try it again. Try it again. Uh, no, it's just, it's just letting me edit the name of it. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, th- I guess you have to put it actually in the equipment section or something. Yeah. I have mine in the attack area, and um, maybe if you listed out your spells under attack, uh, the attack bonus, and then your damage um, die, uh, maybe it'll work then. That's going to be rough for a wizard. Is that under yeah. a character or? Uh, yeah, or it's under core. core. You'll find it under. Oh yeah, there are spell slots up above that. Is there? In yeah. Core? Yeah, in core. You oh, look down at right. your uh, weapons. Um, there are spell slots. Click on spell slots, and you should be able to add more. So can I click this? Oh, there we go. Nice. How did you do that? Oh wait, how, how nice. I don't so, know what I did there. Oh, very cool. How did you do that? Uh, so I clicked on spell slots. Yeah. And then on the uh, sort of chat thing, it says spells, cantrips, firebolt, dancing light, mending. And then that's, I, don't, I don't have them all yet. So I don't know why it's throwing two. That's throwing weird. a d20 and then it's throwing two. It should only be throwing one d10. Not two. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, okay, well, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm figuring yeah. it out. Yeah, still cool. So um, as, as you run over to... As you get past the rat, you run over to Rookie, and you make it behind her, but you squeeze in behind, in between the chained man and Rookie. So now you're staring Rookie in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and, and, and the guys at your back. Is it, is it Archicent or is it uh, Hyacinth or is it uh, Archimedes? Oh, Hyacinth is. Nice. I'm I'm looking at Ruki. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just wait, girl. <laughs> girl. Get hey, off girl. my man. <laughs> I'm just trying to intimidate this dude. I'm not. <laughs> oh, he's intimidated. I'm trying, I'm trying to startle you, I think. <laughs> um, like not, not, not a. <laughs> yeah. so, what, I literally yeah. have no idea what to make of anything that's happening. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. So, so we're standing. We're between. Yeah, you're. Uh, you're. Bank guy and rookie. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um. So now, a- after you did that, the rat charges at rookie. And falls on a banana that was yeah. that was amidst the gar- a garbage on the floor. Instant Ooh, karma. Yeah. <laughs> if you hadn't attacked me, Red, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rookie and Arca Cynthia are up. So, can we? Um, sorry, excuse me. Um, can we just try to? Un- can we look at the the shackles attaching? this guy to um to the wall and see if it's something that we can we can try to unclip or wait we should pull the arrows out of his mouth first right yeah i think we should see what kind of person he is before maybe we mm. unchain him that's true mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead and reach up and pull the, uh, the arrows out of his mouth so he can actually start talking okay so oh, we, un- we unlatch whatever whatever's in his mouth. So the, so you you take the rope off of the arrows and the arrows just fall fall down onto the ground. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I've never felt in more danger than I do right now ever since you walked in this cave. <laughs> do you want to see the back in his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait. No, 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 wait. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. We have them in our hand. I was like, ah, uh, maybe. Okay. I know what this might look like. This looks weird. Who's this guy? Why is he friends with these rats? Why is he chained to this wall? I can explain it all, but please help me out of these chains. <laughs> <laughs> How can you, are, are you strong enough to help us fight the rats? Or do we need to like, are you, are you weak? Cause you've been there for Oh, I will, I will, I will certainly help you fight your way out of here. <laughs> Life is way more important than becoming rat dinner. <laughs> okay, so can we look at the chains? Yeah. And see if there's a way that we can unbuckle it. Yeah. Um. You can't. It, they're they're definitely locked around him. Or okay. Locked around his his uh, ankles and his wrists. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> yes. But you could probably try and rip him out of the wall. Oh, could I have done that? <laughs> You said I couldn't do anything. Yeah, you couldn't have. But but <laughs> well, this this yeah. is a, this is a two headed uh, you know elf creature. Maybe all together we could pull them out of the wall. Yeah, exactly. With both well, with your strength combined. With our powers combined. All right. Um, Should we count down from three and try to yank them out of the wall? Yes. All right. Let me count. Well, what are what are his motives? What yeah. Is he- who are you? You you, you don't have Where? time. You don't have time to discuss this. This rat is coming up behind you. Right? Like, yeah. I don't know. I just like to ask a couple of questions. Right, you guys ask them questions. I'm gonna go take care of the cat. The I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just take care kidding. of the cat. The cat. Just, we oh, left that back yeah. in town. These caves are filled with goblins and kobolds and who else knows what. If you let me out of here, we can get out of here ourselves. If rats getting closer. The rats getting closer. The rats getting closer. All right. Okay. On on three, we'll pull the thing out of the wall. I don't trust this guy, so I'm gonna go try to fight the rat. Well, like, can we give him, can we give him maybe his, his arms so we can at least like swing around? Like we can keep his feet shackled in. So okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. All right. I'm great at swinging my arms. All right, <laughs> Rookie, the rat's coming up behind you. The rat's coming up behind you. Who's what are you, Arkansas, What are you doing? All right, we're, we're gonna, gonna pull the thing out of the wall. We're gonna count okay. to three, and then we throw a. I want to help. Down. Yep. Uh, I want okay. Help with this. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Right. One, two. Are you pressing the button? Yes. One, two, three, go. But wait, you've got it. You have advantage. You have advantage because. Um... Oh my gosh! <laughs> is is, oh my God. is that your poor, strength? I'm in a poor position. Yeah. Oh, I see it. But okay, so we get advantage. We'll try it again. Oh Jesus Christ! 
Okay. So you're, with you're with doing it wrong. Yeah, with Britic's help, you get one arm off. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Doing better. Oh no! He's got one arm off. Yeah, rookie. Uh, the rats. The rats right at your back. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to unsheathe my sword and just slice at it. All right. Give me a. Capital. Oops. Whoa. Sorry. My, my bad. Sorry. You oh, of course it's a natural twenty. <laughs> you definitely hit. What's your damage? Six. Uh, where is it? It was five piercing. Is what. Oh I'm yeah, it's five. Five piercing. Oh, what? Is, oh, oh, I okay. I saw Rick's. Um, cool. So it kills it. How do you want to go about killing it? Um. So uh, while it's coming up, I'm I'm like looking up at the the uh, the shackles. So mindlessly, I just uh, or absentmindedly, I just pull out my sword and just slice it without looking. <laughs> so you 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 can somehow sense this rat coming up to you, and you just you literally just pull it out. You're still looking at Arcasynth. And you just stab this thing right in the head. And you, you got it so hard that it goes through its head and your sword gets stuck in the ground. And it just... Damn it! Dissipates. <laughs> and deflates. You gotta get my sword out of the ground. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the rats have, have been vanquished and Britic has been ungagged and has one hand that's free. Nice. And I picked up my arrows. It's the only weapon I have. <laughs> so is there, is there one more? Is there one more rat now? Nope, they're all gone. Oh. Thank God you lot showed up when you did. <laughs> <laughs> so so do, can we now like ask for his name? Wait, yeah. can before we do that, can I just can I can we ask? Uh, is there anything else like? Is there anything else we should know about? Like, are there any other creatures that are going to come? Or are we okay for now? There we go. Mm. Sorry, I, I figured it out. So. Oh, nice. Um, you don't. You don't know. You don't hear anything moving around in the room, so you think the room is kind of safe. There's just a lot of garbage, and it smells pretty bad. Okay. I feel bad for Ruki right now. She's a germaphobe. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty <laughs> awful in here. I yeah, like. This is, the worst, this is the worst place to get chained up into. I'm pretty sure it's the garbage room. Yeah, actually, that reminds me. Is there like do do we hear any running water anywhere? Or any food? <laughs> no, but the, the, the walls start to get thinner and thinner and thinner, and they start to collapse a little more and collapse a little. No, I'm joking. God, so you hear the beating hearts. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, there's no, there's no running water. Um, it's just this, it's just fume, this fumes are just coming out of all this rotting garbage. Okay, I'm gonna what take out some. For? I have like a little like water, like a water skin that I could just like. Or on my hands. Clean yourself. Scrub with my soap. I know that's probably really important, and we could all stop for a picnic, but I'm still chained to the wall. <laughs> that's fine. I mean, what, 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 what are you doing in here anyway? What, what happened? Why are you chained to this wall? Well, you know, you meet a girl at a tavern. She has a horse. You take it in the middle of the night, and then goblins capture you, and you end up in a cave. You know the normal story. <laughs> you know, it just happened. <laughs> What happened to the horse? What happened to the girl? <laughs> Ate it. Oh, she's probably still asleep. Or at least wondering where her horse is. This was a few days ago. <laughs> God. So you're not necessarily a nice guy. You ate a I'm horse? Just, no, no, the goblins ate the horse. Oh. <laughs> I didn't <eat> the horse. <laughs> you had horse? It's disgusting. It's so gay. <laughs> can we tell if he's being truthful? <laughs> yeah, you can, you can um, roll a perception check. I've got a pretty high perception check. Or an insight check, sorry. Insight would be the whole thing. Yeah. I think that's just perception anyway, but yeah. it's, it's Same proficient. Thing. Rick, Rushing. do you want to roll a deception? I'm actually telling the truth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> as, far as, that, you, as far as that happened. You think he's telling the truth. <laughs> okay. as, far as, that, how did, as far as how did I get here, that's literally how I got here. Okay. Well, where are you where are you headed like what what is your what's yeah. your game plan like what if we let you go where are you going what are you gonna do um just heading south figured i'd hit all the big cities around here i've been to Waterdeep in neverwinter Baldur's gate sounds fun all right, should we should we try to get him out? Is it? Can we look for it? Like, is 
on on his shackles like is it um do we have time to like look for a key like how are we gonna get them off we can pull them out of the wall but they're still gonna be on him like how do we how do we help him is anybody good with lock picking Mm. i mean yeah but i'm trying to decide if i want to i mean (laughs) we all we got off on the wrong foot (laughs) <laughs> ready to kill you. You don't know who I am. I okay. don't know who you are. What are your names? What are you doing in this cave? Mm-hmm. Did you steal a horse too from that same girl? She had a whole stable. <laughs> Poor girl. No, she only had one leg too. <laughs> How did she run? You know what? It's... I'm just gonna let that one go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I start to try and like pick the lock with my arrow. All right, and it's, all it's right. just scratching and scratching and scratching. Maybe we should just go ahead and, and let him out and carry on. And if he wants to join us, that's great. If he doesn't, that's great too. Yeah, we, we actually, we know we're, we're looking for something in this cave here. So getting so past, uh, what, what are you looking for? Family heirloom. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for? I'll do the questions. This is my rat cave. <laughs> Does the man chained to the shackled to the wall? <laughs> I know it's I know it's a weird situation. We're rolling with it. <laughs> Very poorly, but yeah. That was a joke about rolling bad dice. Oh, God, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> no meta. No Did meta. Did you get it, guys? Well, rookie, rookie, would you be uh be up for keeping a knife to this guy's back once we get him off the wall just in case? For oh yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Still, still... If that's the worst of it, I'm fine with that too. All right. Well, if we let you free, are you are you willing to come help us and look look a little bit further for your family heirlooms and more stuff? So we kind of like he kind of like straightens up, right, with like a really proud air, and he puts his arrows over his heart and he says, "You have my word. I will help you find whatever you're looking for, and we can stay together as long." I'm gonna pull out Helob and put it on your head. Oh God! (laughs) (laughs) So so Helob's on his head, and he's just kind of scratching um, Riddick's forehead with his hook. Just like... That thing. <laughs> yeah, it, it's got a pirate okay. hook. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Alright, so I think he's incapacitated with that. Do you want to you want to lockpick him while he's... Uh... Sure. Thinking about it? Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. What would I, that be? Yeah, just do a dex roll. i got to see this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Don't, roll is... Don't roll the one. Don't roll the one. Don't take the spider. Boop. Hey. There we go. Yeah. All right. So you you just masterfully pick his his locks and you know how like you, you, you very friend. much fall out of the carbonite and onto the floor. <laughs> And the spider yeah. is off my head. Yeah. The spider actually, as you're as you're falling out of the chains, the spider actually jumps right onto um, Rookie's head. Oh, and I just like kind of like scurry back up to the wall. And go, yeah. How big was that? Did you see how big that was? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Chain Man. What 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 is your what's your name? Are my feet unlocked too? Yep. Okay. So I stand up and I brush myself off. I. My arrows, I have no idea where my quiver is, so I put them in my belt and I extend my hand to you and like, my name is Xavier Cross. A pleasure to meet you. And your name? I'm Hyacinth and this is Archimedes, but together we are Archicent. It's a pleasure to meet you. We take your hand and shake your hand as well. Thank you very much for freedom. It's been long since I tasted its fresh air. (laughs) And you are with the spider that I'm not going to go near because spider? Uh, I'm Rookie, and this is Helob. A pleasure to meet you. <laughs> very nice Freedom. You. Okay. Oh. Here we go. It's on the agenda. Have you? Have you? Uh, I already forgot your character's name. Xavier Cross. Xavier Cross. So, Xavier, uh, have you explored the caves? Like, is this the only room that you really know, or have you been further in? Um, Eric. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, when I was set upon by the goblins, they blindfolded me and took me through what I could only tell was a forest and left me in this cave. However, they did unblindfold me when they chained me up here and took my belongings and they went that away. <laughs> <laughs> went through the door. 
So the goblins went into the cave. They went further into the cave. Yep. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have that to look forward to. Okay. Do we have anything, Do we anything else, Eric, that I could tell them about the caves or my captors or? Um, you know that there were. Um, it, it wasn't just a few. There, it almost seemed like. Uh, it was. It was almost a mob of kobolds that that captured you. So it wasn't just like there were one or two, and you've been hearing them um, throughout. You know, as you were locked up, you've yeah. you've heard them kind of rustling through the halls. Did any of them come into the room? Every every now and then, you would you would see a couple come into the room and just make sure you were still chained up and sneer at you a little bit, and then okay. walk out. Did any were any of them goblin or orc? Because no. they speak orc, but they don't speak draconic. Yeah, no, there were only kobolds that you could tell. Okay, so I couldn't hear. So no, yeah, I, I reiterate that back to the group. Plenty of kobolds. Uh, so what 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 kinds of things did they take from you? Because I wonder if if they took things from you just uh, so that you couldn't, so you weren't weaponized anymore, or if they took them because it was like worth something and they put it in wherever there was a room full of like treasure. So Eric, did they take all my gear, or is it my gear somewhere? Um, your the your arrows, your weapons are. They didn't really care for them. They didn't really need mm -hmm. them, so they just left them in the room. But that is the fine crafted you wood longbow, and they just threw it in the corner. Yeah, <laughs> they just threw it. They threw it amongst all of the garbage. So it's just here. Yeah, it's it's. But they they took all of your gold and any mm -hmm. of your jewelry, amulets, anything okay. like that. Things that looked important. Anything so, yeah, that they, anything that looks shiny. Mm -hmm. And okay. so yeah, they apparently they didn't care for my fine crafted gear, but they did they did take my my gold, my coin, um, tinderbox. Um, and my, it somewhere, right? Yes. So they seemed find it. very they seemed very very um, uh, eager to own family heirloom, uh, my coins. They were. It was definitely highway robbery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we know that wherever there's treasure, there's probably going to be kobolds then. Most likely. And the treasure's always with... Adventure. Oh. The leader. You don't happen to have any uh, band-aids or any medical supplies on you by chance. We're hurt pretty bad right now. Well, oh, no, but I am a practiced... Uh, um, uh, Field medic, so I can't cure some wounds yep. if anybody's hurt really bad. But remember, oops, sorry, what, really quick, uh, mm -hmm. Arcasynth, uh, remember Fizzgig gave you guys healing potions. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There he is. That should go ahead. No need. Allow me. You freed me. Allow me to cure your wounds. It's the least I can do. All right, we'll take you up on that. That way we can use it for another time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um. I will. I. I will cast cure wounds on anybody who needs it. Well, we're at two of ten right now, so we could use it. <laughs> okay. Let's do a cure wounds. Um. No components. And it heals a one d eight one action. Oh, it's just a touch. It's instantaneous. So yeah. you guys, creature you touch regains a number of hit points equal to one d eight plus my spell casting ability. Yep. Modifier. So it's going to be your um, modifier plus your proficiency bonus, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Oh, you know, I don't remember what my modifier is. Oh, uh, Ranger's Wisdom. So yep. a plus two. So 1d8 plus two. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm fine for now. Okay. Thank it's you. It's here should you require it. Thank you. You're welcome. Just I mean, does it require a slot? Um. Yes, that's a... First level spell, so I busted that. <laughs> Did you roll the die? Oh, I don't have to for cure wounds. It's just touch. Like no, no, no. I, I mean, the, did you roll the one d eight for the? Oh, I thought they rolled it. They did. I can roll it. Or they oh, can. We do. Oh yeah, anybody yeah. can. I can. Or, or whoever. Ooh. Yeah. You guys go ahead and roll it. It's your. It's your help. Oh, God, you put it in our hands. Great. Here we yeah. go. You want me to do it? I'll do it right now. Too late. And then you guys can add two to that. So plus six. Mm -hmm. All right. So good. We, we're up to yeah. eight now. Um, just so you know, that is 
one of two of my first level spells. <laughs> I am fine with. <laughs> you guys did saved we, my did life. We cast one of ours last time, Eric. Do you remember? Um, I don't actually. How many do you? How many do you have total? Uh, we're level two. So, okay, you're gonna have three level ones, I believe. Is that right? So, what brings you lot to the Cobalt Caves? We're actually on a quest. Ooh, do tell. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Save with me. Yeah, you have three level ones, and let's say you burnt one just in case. Okay. Yeah, just just to be safe. We're uh, we're looking for a um, a uh, what do we call it? mage? No, cleric. Cleric. Yes. We're looking for a cleric, uh, as we believe he has something that we need. Um, There's an actual cleric down here in these caves. That's what we've had, but we've had, uh, he's maybe not such a nice person, so. Oh. In what way? He's evil? <laughs> <laughs> the very definition of a not nice person. You're correct. Uh, that's what we hear, but I mean, don't want to be too judgmental. Just just keeping our guards up. That's all. Right? Like you don't want to judge a book by whatever somebody told you the cover might look like. <laughs> exactly. Who to whom do you serve this quest? Well, uh, you might know him as <laughs> King uh, Winston. King Winston, but we fondly know him as Fizzgig. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're on a first name basis. First name basis. Sometimes we yeah. even call him Fizzy for short. What? <laughs> He's an interesting man. He likes he likes jumping around. He likes watching people jump around. And he's got a lovely pet. Speaking of jumping, my spider can jump up to ten feet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. I just love the speaking. Of, my spider can jump up to ten feet. And just watch this. <laughs> and it has a cock. Yeah. Does he have an eye patch? I don't know if I've ever asked that. Yeah. Does he have an eye patch? Is it a pirate spider? Like he has like how many eyes? It looks like he has eight eyes. So Does he, he have like at least two eye patches? Yeah, yeah, maybe three, borderline three. But he has a little hat. <laughs> like a, like every pirate spider should have. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Elob, at your service, sir. <laughs> My lady. <laughs> Wait, who's the lady? Okay. So, so, are we moving? So I'm in your debt. Let's go find this cleric. Let's go find my precious family heirloom. Yeah, let's, let's get out of this cave. It smells like garbage and burnt rat. <laughs> so, do you think that we'll find the heirloom along the way? Um, I actually want to pull uh, Jack and Katie um, aside and um, and and ask them if if uh, you guys think that we'll find this heirloom beforehand, and if so, should we watch our backs after that point? Can we can we uh, can we ask about it? Like, can we ask about what the family heirloom is? Like, will that help? Yeah. I'm just over in the corner putting my gear on. Yeah, you're you're just like uh, just you're looking over your shoulder as they're having their like little hook. trying to listen if I can. <laughs> yeah. Like, roll a perception, like, Rick. Yeah, a fucking eleven. I'm not using that thing. I'm using the roller from now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of like. I feel like we should trust him, but at the same time, I'm a little hesitant, especially because he has his thing that he needs to do, and then I'm sure that once he does it, he'll want to take off. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, should we just kind of, you know, keep an eye out? I don't know. How are you guys feeling about him? I love him. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, unsure, I'm unsure of him right now. You're unsure? Okay. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go hunt some kobold. We, we keep looking behind us and like, you're just doing, you're striking all these poses. <laughs> <laughs> um. Wait, I do buddy, I do buddy Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I think he's an extra person. We just lost two uh two people. They're passed out in a hole. 
So I think that we we need him in order to go through. So even if when he gets his heirloom, he leaves, at least he can get us that far. We just have to hope that he won't turn on us and try to get something from us. Okay. But I think we definitely need help to get through. Yeah, we could we could use some extra hands. We have plenty of heads. We just need more hands. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I step up after gearing up and it's kind of like tightening the, 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 the bracers on my wrist and saying, you have no reason to trust me. I have no reason to trust you. But if we're going to get out of this, it's going to be teamwork. That's, okay. Okay. I'm fine with that for now. Okay. But she has a spider. Yeah. The spider's claw is watching you. <laughs> I just do this. I just do this. <sighs> <laughs> okay. So, where is he oh, going to get? Should we move on? Yeah, let's do it. I guess so it doesn't matter what time it is because it's dark in the cave, right? Yeah. Are we? Go Can you go deeper into this cave, Eric? Um, yes. Where they turned left to mm -hmm. the, if they wanted to go right, there's a door. Can I say it's like a good bet that's where they took my heirloom? Yeah. Okay. You you would you would assume so. And I just kind of say that to the group. Like I assume that there's a good bet that at least treasure went that way. Yeah. Through the door. Well, exactly. I'm up for following treasure, so you lead the way. You stay in front of us. It looks like Allow treasure me. went that way. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to make treasure and where's the beach joke at the same time. <laughs> it was this big around. <laughs> uh, I do all of that. Um, so if there's a door, Eric, yep. I'm just going to like to the group and, and just kind of like kind of give it like and just do a perception check on the door, like kind of give it a listen. Yeah, sure. Oop, oop, wrong button. And as you get close to the door, you can hear um, Aver and Baracus snoring at the bottom of the pit. Nice. But that, but that's not through the door. No, that's behind us, right? That's the that's to your right, actually. <laughs> oh Jesus! Um, yeah, you. Just, everything's fine. Yeah, everything's copacetic. Everything's it's fine. just a door, um, mm -hmm. made out of wood. You know, has it has a. Uh, wrought iron uh, handle on it. Mm. You don't really hear anything on the other side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crack it open if I can, just like okay. If it's not, if it's not locked, it is. Like, no, so no. So so you crack it open, and then you just see a rock come flying out. Oh, I dodge. <laughs> and it uh, it definitely misses you. Okay, so it just kind of flies out. I, yeah. sh I shove it closed. Yeah. So it, I put my back to it, and I go to the group. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing rocks. <laughs> and, 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 and now, now you can hear rustling and startling of uh, and stamping foots. Um, like Feet. like foots. cobalt foots. Okay, yeah. so I go to the group. Someone's coming. There, apparently that room is full of probably kobolds, and they're running through the door right now. We only have a moment to figure out what we're going to do, and I think out the other way, and we follow them through that doorway. So use the doorway as, as like a uh, as like a choke point, basically. Like a bottleneck, yeah. The way you guys came in. So All right. So why don't, why don't we like there. why don't we stand back? Maybe we'll back up a little bit. Can you you hold the door. You rip it open, and we'll all just throw stuff through the door. Well. Oh I, yeah, I'll do that. So I'll I stay out, and then I'll just like kind of pull it behind me, and you guys will bottleneck down down the other thing and just chuck shit, and I'll be behind the door. Yeah. I have a suggestion. You just stay in front of us. I have a suggestion. What if we uh, use um, dancing lights? We cast it in the direction someone would think that we would walk away to, to create like a, a diversion of, you know, instant like, oh, there's something happening over here. There's like, a torch light or something going down. Yeah, like we'll run this way and we lean up, like we open the door. Yes, 
No, maybe. I don't know. But we're up against the wall. We hide. We hide. Okay. So and we light a different area so that we're a bit darker and uh, by default, and it looks and it distracts these people, and hopefully they'll just come busting through the door and run straight that way. And then oh, we yeah. go and lock and then, it behind us. And then we go in the door and lock it behind. Us. Oh, we'll, we'll let we'll like, let the sleeping Aver deal with that. Ah, What's shit. the lighting like in this room, Eric? Um, it's it's a little less than torch lit. It's very okay. dim. Could we pull like well, you a can, Samwise you can... Gamgee and make our shadows uh, make us look like bigger foes than we are? You could, with the dancing lights, yeah. If you want, if you want to, you... you know how in um, Lord of the Rings, Sam is going up the stairs, and um, a lot of the were they orcs? yeah orcs could... yeah they scared yeah. the orcs because he made them so he was like Argh. yeah yeah he was like making noises and his shadow made him look like this big creature. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Yeah. How many of them there are? We don't. I don't. Did I see how many, or I just got a rock thrown at? You just right? got a rock flying out. You didn't really see, but you could. You know, it's more than two. Could I scout and see if I could see anyone rock. without, without? You want to open uh, the door back up? Them? Yeah. We're probably, yeah. we're probably we're probably on the timer with this one. Yeah, yeah. They're they're <laughs> they're pretty much. They've been alerted after the door was open. We're coming through this door. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna yank it open, and you guys are going to cast dancing lights. Yeah, and we can. Well, no, no, we don't. So we we cast dancing light beyond us. We go high and wait for them to open the door. If we open the door, they know we're right there. I could aggro them, and you guys can go hide, and uh, and I can do the the Samwise thing, and then once I intimidate them, then I can pull them back, and then we can bottleneck them. That makes sense. I mean, they're already bottleneck coming through the door. True. Well, that's what I mean. Okay. Pulls see, see on the map where my, uh, my pointer is right now. Can uh, you see that? If you hold it down, it will ping. Really? I don't see your pointer. Hold on one second. We can do this. Or you can just it. put a dot on there. There you go. Oh yeah. yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that didn't work. So um, you see where the um, the red um, here. Hold on. I'll paint a little more. See where? I'm, yeah, there you go. See where I'm painting the green right now? Yeah. That's the pit. The door is right here. Okay. And this is. Oh, that's this, the door. Okay. Yeah. I thought and, it was somewhere else. And th- 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 this is where the spider lair or the rats yeah. were back here. So, so I I think that I feel like if if we uh, if we cast dancing lights towards the pit. We could lean against the wall, and then when they all go through, we could go back in through the door. But then my only pro- concern is that we do just leave them with Aver and Brackus. They can deal with it when they wake up. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't even know who these people are. They're snoring. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> oh, shit. I actually backed out of it. Um, I think la- last solution is <laughs> we're going to have to fight something. Um, if they rush through that door and you lead them back into the room, you might be able to get some sort of surprise attack if you if you lure them in there, right? Like they'll go down. If you got if you guys escape down the uh, down the entrance, figured it out. If you guys escape down the entrance and you cast, but if you cast dancing lights in the main room, they might think people are just like wandering around the main room and follow and follow the lights. And then we can either escape or surprise attack from behind we should have pulled aver out of the hole and then somehow lured them into the hole I don't know this well um, should have yeah we don't let's do can, I like the, can we really quickly use her rope to like make uh human puppets out of aver and baracus and make them dance over the hole like so we can have through, they think they're ghost and everyone freaks out and then Everyone no. <laughs> the no. No. Could we could we pull them through the door, but tie a line across so that they're um? What do you call it when a uh, line? Like yeah, a tripwire? Yeah, or a tripwire. Either either up by their neck or down by their feet to trip them. Could do that. Throw me the rope. Okay. Me the rope. You better do it quick. Do 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 do. <laughs> they're coming. Okay. Okay. All right. We we put our backs to the to the wall where the door is, where what? it's gonna open, and we're gonna be behind it. So okay. We can, I'm going to be on the other side. Okay. Did we call Stan and Lex anyway? This is a fucking great plan. Throw the rope and we'll check <laughs> it. I grab it and I lay it on the ground and as soon as it opens, I pull it taut. Yeah, okay. I'll do the same on the other side. 
All right, and we've got our back up against the wall, getting a uh, getting a firebolt prepped. Yeah. Oh, do, oh yeah. Set up a reaction as soon as they come through. Burn them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you span this uh, the rope across, holding it really taut. Aver or yet yeah, Aver Arcasynth, you jump up against the back wall. The door flies open as they as they knock it forth, and they you see four of them come rushing out, and. Boom, 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 one after another, like lemmings. They just fly oh. over this rope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and they all smash down into, uh, onto the floor um, about five feet um, past uh, the, the fork in the, in the hallway. I can't believe that worked. How many of them are there? There's four, four. right now. Blast them! God bless them! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, now you, you send off your firebolt. All right. Do we have advantage because they're on the ground? Absolutely. In case. Uh, Don't even need it. So, uh, nice. does that four? You should be getting bonuses on those four. Oh no, you don't. It's fire both. Okay. So the the one that's closest to you, um, it bounces off his head and uh, drops him to the ground. Cool. Yeah. And he's he's fire. done. Oh, nice. All right. Is that would be the perfect soundtrack to this. The 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 um the Dang. track in Lord of the Rings. There's like dun 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 dun. Anyway, so I was thinking the Guys of the Caribbean theme song. Yeah. Oh, were you? That's pretty good too. Keep going, keep going. Aaron, if they're prone, I want to I want to try and I want to try and stab them. Go for it. My short sword. Yep. Um. I'm gonna assume an I'm gonna assume an advantage deck. Yep. God, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna. Um, so so there's three of them prone and they're almost they're they're kind of like dominoes that fell down, right? So if I can just throw my weight on one to try and get through one with another, I know yep. it's just a short you might sword, you might. So the, there's like four of them stacked. Is the the one that we the, killed the one that's on top? Yeah, yeah. That that one kind of slipped once you killed it. It slipped down onto, the, onto like it, it slid down onto the ground. So now there's just three of them that are stacked like dominoes. Okay. Oh! Oh! Nice. Roll me some damage. Uh oh! Did that not order roll damage? Yeah. Okay. Um. So short sword is a two is two d six. Yep. Oh, is it? Uh. No, I'm sorry. It's one d six. Yeah, so, I, so I, two d six. Um, but I get to roll it twice because it's. Yep. Because it, that's a crit. That's yep. a fucking crit. That is a crit. That's awesome. Okay. No, I'm sorry. It's one d six. Okay, <laughs> that's a fourteen d. <laughs> All right. So you. But I wanted to put my whole weight on it. Yeah. And like, go through one and hit the other. Yeah. So you literally. Um, just run up, just bounce. You you take two or three steps on the body of the first kobold, and then with all your might, you stab through the back of the first of the of the dominoes, and it goes through his chest, into the stomach of the second one, and then down into the the torso of the of the third one, and you've wow. literally impaled them. So just enough that the tip of your short sword is. Sticking up again out of the out of the last one. Oh, God, wow! And they're all dead. Triple kill. <laughs> yep. They're all dead. Um, Is that all the cold? That's dead? awesome. Rookie, roll me a perception. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perception. Good job, team. <laughs> I stand up and I pull the short sword out oh, and I say, gosh. "You're welcome." Uh, Rookie, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no ticket. Rookie, <laughs> um, you have uh, you notice that there's a kobold that's still running that's in the doorway right now behind you. Like going back into the other room? No, he's coming. He he was kind of left behind. He didn't he didn't come out right away. So he's now in the doorway running towards you. So um, she's right next to him then, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? Um, I'm just going to take out my short sword and try to stab him. Okay. Um, is is my back towards him? Is he like on my side? Uh, your back is. You know, he, he's on your right side right now. Oh, okay, okay. Um, 
Yeah, so I think I'm just going to do that. Okay. Sweet. Oh, nice. nice. Yes, you hit. Sweet. And uh, you're going to kill him. So how, how does how does he die? Uh, so he's on my right. So I'm just going to flip out my sword and then just stab him right as he's running up. Oh, like he runs right into it? Oh. oh. Yeah. So he's charging out this door and you just catch him out of the corner of your eye and you slyly just put your sword out. You don't even move. And he just runs into it. And as he runs, you push it over into, into his chest and he falls down and makes the fourth a domino. <laughs> yeah, it's so like a cool. Gold gold sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> All right, are there any more coming? No, you don't see any more coming. Can we loot them? Sure. There's they they just have uh, daggers on them. More daggers. Okay. I just want to make sure none of them have like the heirloom or any, the... any goodies on them. Yeah, yeah you. Uh, well, we're looking at the group. I'd like to just kind of peer into the room. Sure. Um, what you see in there, uh, it kind of looks yeah, like. Oh, okay, go ahead. What do you say? I was gonna say you can do you can do this you can do the looting first. That's just I just that's just what I was doing. Yeah. As uh, do you guys want to take the daggers with you, or what do you want to do? Uh, are they like the blunt daggers? Yeah, they, they don't look special. You might be able to get some coins for them, but it's not going to be uh, a lot. Can we take the daggers and just throw them in the pit next to uh, uh, Baracus and Aver? Like not at them, but just uh, like so. If anyone stumbles across them, they have five less weapons. Sure. Okay. So, so you toss them in the pit, um, and as one falls down, uh, they're still they're still in the high five position, and as it falls, it the the um, handle actually falls right between their high five, so, so they have so they have a they have a knife standing up. Nice, it's really adorable. Yeah. All right. Well, um, we should check what's on the other side of this door. Yeah. Rick, Rick what's your quickly? What's your name, Rick? Xavier Cross. Xavier. So Xavier. No, 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 no. not Xavier. 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 I like yeah, it. The so, X. Are you saying Xavier? Xavier? No, Xavier. No. Xavier. Xavier. I'm sorry, I'm just being an ass. <laughs> <laughs> so you look into the room. <laughs> this is one of those things that would like some of us would just call you Xavier, and you're like, no, it's Xavier. And you're like, sorry, Xavier. Yeah. Am I saying it wrong, Xavier? Xavier. <laughs> yeah. So Xavier, you look into the room, and it looks kind of basically like a guard room. Um, you see. A couple benches. You see some axes hanging around. Mm -hmm. um, actually, do you want to roll a perception? Uh, yeah. Do I need a? So, uh, as a human, I don't have any sort of dark vision. I have torches. There, is this kind of there's blade? actually, actually, there are torches inside the guard room. Okay, so lighting up. Lit. Yeah. So perception. Yep. Okay. You're gonna plus four in perception. Cool. Come on, at you. Ooh. Oh, okay. So you notice um, a little sack underneath one of the benches if you want to venture forward. It's it's a little decrepit. Um, it's kind of uh, it's leather, but it's it seems yeah. like it's very worn. the The rope on it looks like it's been burnt a little. Oh, okay. Um, but that gets my attention. That will that well, out of everything else. Out of everything else, you just you just notice some axes hanging around. Nothing special. Um, the kobolds aren't really. So I'll, I'll, I'll slowly walk in. Like, it, I mean, it's, it's like a leather sack. Everything else is like, I can tell what it is, but yeah. it's like a bench, right? And I'm like, yeah. So I'm going to just, just slowly walk in, minding my own business. Sure. Um, sure. Light a foot, go up to the sack, um, give it one a little, little tap. You just hear, you hear just a little like a jingle. Okay. So I just pull it out, two fingers, pull it out. But... No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you find about 50 gold pieces mm -hmm. and um, two potions. Do I, can I tell what the potions are just by a, a straight visual or? Yeah, you would, you would think they're healing potions. A couple of healing potions. Yeah. Um, I'm going to walk this back to the group. Okay. Um, and who's ever's closest, mm -hmm. I'm just going to hand it to them and I'm going to say my thanks. That, that would be to Rookie. Cause yeah, or no, drinking. actually no, it would be Arcasynth because you were right on the side of the door. Mm. So I, I hand out, I, I hold out the sack, and I and I just say my thanks. 
Do you just swoon at this point? And there's two potions of healing in there. No, I say, well, this is a little unfair. We should all break this up and, you know, you've been robbed and have nothing, so why don't we split it between us? Well, I figure... I figure uh, Xavier can get 10, and then we'll get 10. Rookie will get 10 when our friends wake up. We'll let them know we took care of them. So, I, I yeah. relinquish my, I relinquish my um, um, share in this. It's yours. Thank you. You have no gold at all on you. They robbed you. It's, I've been in this circumstance before. I'll deal this with is it. Mighty suspicious. Yeah. I mean, like, like, like do, do an inside check. Do an inside check. <laughs> I, I, I'm really trying to, like, like it's, it's, a, it's a good, it's a, it's a, this is a, I'm, I'm, this is my, 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 my thank you. Mm. I relinquish to take, take my share. All right. I do not need it. Do you trust him? I need my, I need my, I need my heirloom back. I'll I would buy you a all beer. the gold here for my heirloom. What's that? I'll buy you a beer. Oh, you keep cutting out. It's also my accent, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, it's a mic thing. I, I, I the said mic, I'll buy, the mic doesn't worry, pick I'll up buy you a beer. She'll buy you a beer. Oh, buy me a beer. <laughs> you now you're speaking my it. language. <laughs> all right. Well, so we're going to take... We're going to take uh, 10 of the gold and one of the potions and hand it over to Rookie right now. And then we'll keep the 40 and we'll split that. Or, uh, I guess, okay, 12 and a half. So, yeah, well, so we'll keep the other ones to give to everyone else. Does that work? I look at, well, I look at Xavier and I, and I say, good guy, Xavier. And, and, <laughs> and I say, oh, yeah. I say, I don't quite trust you with this. Uh, we're not a charity case. Why don't you take your own part of the gold? Because we don't, we don't want your charity. There's, there's no reason for you to trust me. I understand that. This is not charity. This is thanks. By all means, please keep the gold. I only am here to gain my heirloom back. And you can all take all the gold that these kobold beasts might have taken from anybody. How much is this heirloom worth? Yeah, right? Also, and, and he, and he, so he, look, so he looks at you, right? He looks at you, right? And he goes, it's family. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. And then, uh, now that we've talked about that, Tangled, like all I can see. Archimedes swoons. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, that doesn't work on me. <laughs> you, you swoon, the rest of us gag a little bit. <laughs> No, I didn't. All right. No. Well, rookie, do you want your ten I'm, now, I'm or sure. do you want do you want us to hold on to it? I'll take my ten, but or twelve and a half. I, don't, I guess I don't think we should take the re- his his portion. Okay, okay. I so think, we I think we should, this over us. All right. Yeah, so we should we, just. I agree. We should just keep it and like attach it to him at some point. All right. So we add forty to us. <laughs> uh, we're gonna give you one of the healing potions as well. So you've got a healing potion now. Thank you. I appreciate that. He takes it and he puts it into his pouch. Cool. I was actually talking to Rookie, but that's cool. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. He just... How awkward. I hand it back to Rookie. <laughs> no, man. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> See? That's what it is. Called it from the get go. Wow. All right. So we added 40 gold and one healing okay. potion. You got 10 and one. I just looked at our languages. We have Elvish, Common, Orc, Celestial, Primordial, and Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> so what is Donkey? I don't know. I guess I did. All right. So we through, we're in this. Anybody like dwarf, dwarf language? I know Dwarven. You know Dwarven? Nice. All right, so we're in this room now. Uh, it looks like it's Forks. Yeah, so you're in the room he- uh, here, and now... Th- Back against the far wall, it looks like it, there's a fr- it, the um, cave turns to work stone, and there's a hallway of work stone. Orc stone. Oh, orc stone. Wor- uh, wor- worked, worked like it's worked. like it's uh, yeah. Okay. Hewn. Yeah. Hewn. Yes. So uh, you you can if if you want you can go down that hallway. This is, is in there- that room with the axes. Yes. Okay. Is there anywhere? Is there any other direction? Nope. So hold on, let me draw. So this way. Okay. Is where you can go. Other than um, that, you can go out or back to the other room. If anybody has, if nobody has any sort of um, uh, res- resignation about it, 
I'll go first. I'll draw my bow and I'll go first. Cool. Should we throw a dancing light down the hall to uh, see if we spot anything? No, I, I worry about lighting something up and alerting people. Is it not lit? Is the hall not lit? I thought there was torches. No, th there's torches you can see down the hall. Okay, oh. so it's a lit hallway. Yep. So you so can I'll, see I'll, to right about there. So I'll I'll notch an arrow okay. in my bow and like kind of hug the wall. Okay. And stealthily make my way down the hallway. Okay. Hoping my new friends come with me. <laughs> <laughs> we follow closely behind. Oh, say so not, not a man or two. I get him caught. So you start walking down the hall, and you notice the stone is getting more fi refined as you walk down. Um, okay. And you get to right about the edge of this um, fork in the road where you can either go left or go straight. And okay. you can see all the way down the straight, uh, down straight. Okay. And there's another door. Okay. And um, if, 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 oh. you, if you look left, um, it goes to another hallway. To it, to okay, another. so it definitely looked left. So it goes to a hallway, and, it, and that hallway goes either left or right. Which way does the uh, the the fine like the the wall with the nice looking wall? Which direction does that go? Um, it goes straight back. Actually, well, okay. it, it's every, everything is really nice now. Okay. Oh, okay, so we've entered that. Right? Yeah. Um, if I smell the air, say down one way or the other, do I mm. smell anything? No, nothing smells as bad as that. Uh, Okay, we're still in that sort of stink. Yeah, that, that garbage back there. Okay, so I look back at the group, and I want to do the door. It's kind of what I signed to them. I'm like, I point down and like... And we say, what? <laughs> <laughs> I want to do the door, I say oh. regular <laughs> All right. So if I can, I'm going to just kind of hop along that gap of the hallway and go down mm -hmm. to the door. Okay, so you make your way up to the door, and it's another wooden door like before with an iron, a wrought iron latch on it. Yeah. I'm going to... That's the end of this hallway, right? Like, yep. Yeah, okay. that down... Uh, it's like here. Down here. Mm -hmm. like, the, like those arrows? <laughs> no arrows. Um, okay. I'd like to just like, uh, give it a... I just want to hear, smell, see if I can sense anything from the other side of it. Sure, roll me a perception. That should be my perception right there. Nice. Okay, you can you can hear a lot of merrymaking. It doesn't sound like you can hear a lot of beings in, uh, in the on the other side of the door, but it sounds mm -hmm. like clanking glasses, and you can smell some food cooking. Okay. Um, do I can I pick up the language maybe or the sound of it or? Uh, it sounds draconic. Okay, so I, 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 you I would think that, that it's a kobold revelry. Yeah, yeah, you would think it's more kobolds in that room. So I just kind of back off. Okay. And just kind of look back at the rest of them, and I'm like, <laughs> basically, I don't think we should go down that way. I think we should go find another way. There's some rowdy drunk kobolds in that room. All it's right. Like, anyway. What kind of drunk? Different. Yeah, but if they're drunk, aren't they easy to fight? It could be a easy to fight or uh, easy to convince that we're pals. We do <laughs> have uh, we have we have uh, uh, we're the sky's self. Well, that doesn't work on other creatures. Okay. Eric, in my role, in my mm -hmm. role of full twenty-two, did, did I could I tell if they were um, like rowdy drunk, like they got drunk muscles, or if they're friendly drunk and they love everybody? They're rowdy drunk. They've got drunk muscles, but they're very drunk. Like okay, they're, they're they're very much testing their uh, their capabilities and puffing their chest, you know. They're pretty crazy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's that's, that's a, they're looking to fight. I feel. Oh. But but they're, they they're might, they might be. But you also you can tell they're singing while they're doing this, right? So you can tell that they're. There's a merriment. Yeah. Um, we could probably take them by surprise. Um, but they've, they've got this, probably this sort of like drunk strength where they don't even know they're getting hurt and they just kind of, yeah. What if, weird. what if we can't, uh, what if we cast uh, dancing lights in the middle of them to distract them and then um, do a surprise attack on them while they're very confused on what's going or on? Or even can we gently open the door and like just peek in and get a better look of how many there are? If they're drunk, they might not 
notice a door just slowly creeping open. Yeah, you could. Depends on what the importance is, right? You could try, yeah. That's true. You guys want to try that? I like. I'll defer right now. I'm. I don't think it's a great idea, but I know you guys are looking for a cleric, and maybe he's in there having a good fucking time too. <laughs> I don't know. He's just turning water into wine, it. you know. He wants to do it. He wants to open the door. I will, because I am stealthy as fuck. All right, you do that. <laughs> so while she does that, I'm gonna move to the back of the party and um, knock an arrow. Okay. And 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 I'm gonna and I wanna I'm gonna ready an action that sure. if if something looks aggressive towards her as it comes to the door, I just want to pop it with the arrow. Yeah, okay. and we'll, we'll we'll queue up a, a firebolt as well, just in case. Okay. Pop, pop. Okay. Okay. So, so you're creeping up to the door, and roll me a stealth check. Stealth check. Stealth check. Boop. Oh, oh damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Cuff clap. Cuff clap. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Why? Hold Maybe on. Maybe it was a low DC. They're drunk. We yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, that's true. I got, I got a roll for this one. <laughs> God. Okay. So you sneak up to the door and you slowly open it, and all you hear is. Yeah. And it's, it's really loud, but as you open it. You see tons of kobolds, and they're just really boozed up. And when they hear creak, they all scream creak in kobolds, <laughs> right? Okay. Um, but nothing, they don't notice you just slightly opening the door. And you see about, well, you can count about seven kobolds in the room. Okay. And it, it looks like it looks like a, like a, um, a feast hall. A big common room. There's a, there's a there's a fire, a hearth in the back uh, against the back wall. So I may not um, understand, or I may not be able to speak kobold. But is there a way that like I could copy the the phonetics of creek and kobold and like yell it back as if like? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> like so you're drawing attention to yourself. Beautiful. <laughs> So, and Xavier just goes, <sighs> <laughs> so we don't, we don't need to like attack them then because there's nothing in that room that we really need. Well, I mean, can we, can we step forward and poke our head in and do a roll of perception to see if uh, we spot anything? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We also maybe don't want a bunch of drunk, rowdy kobolds behind us should shit go wrong. Yeah. Um, do we want to kill them? I mean, I don't know, Mr. Triple Kill. Do you think you can take on seven? <laughs> You're the only one here who can take on any of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, can we can we get a, a better look into the room and see if there's anything of value or of importance in that room? If if you want to uh, sneak up and roll for it, yeah. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna sneak yeah. up and take a look inside. Okay, give, inside. okay. Give me a stealth check. Uh, and stealth or investigation. Uh, it's going to be stealth at first. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Yay, a three. Everybody that's watching, that's a three. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk up to the door. You toss Rookie to the side. You, As you open it, it goes, Creak! <laughs> and at that point, they all say, Creak! But they look <laughs> over because they hear it. And they're all... They just see you and quick it, cast cast something. Oh, they yeah, start yeah, to charge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cast the dancing lights and I'm gonna walk in and I'm gonna say the creek. All right, we throw we throw we throw dancing lights right dead center in the middle of the room. Okay, and they're like, whoa! <laughs> what is that? So who, rookie and uh, what you call? What are you doing? Can I yell? Save can it. I now walk in and what? and yell the creek? Sure. Okay. I got. I hope their god is named Creek. <laughs> <laughs> and and they, they all yell Creek as they're as they're watching these lights. What are you gonna do now? Because so at this point, she's in the middle of the room. Uh, 
Jesus, what are we gonna do? Wait, so Rookie, so she she got in, and but they're still distracted by the lights. They're, she's she's they're all kind of in the center of the room, like in a circle, like mm. looking up at these lights, saying "Creek." So she walks in and, and she walks in and yells "Creek" too, in the best sort of like phonetic replication of draconic. Yes, yell, "Creek." Yes. Right? And they're so drunk and just amazed by these lights, they're just looking up. So, what do you guys, uh, um, up, Z- up. Zaver? What do you want to do? <laughs> Me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold my action because I know that you, that you guys got firebolt and some other things. Um, some other things. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm no, like, we don't. <laughs> toss, toss a firebolt into there or something. Toss a. Well, they're all, they're all distracted. They're all looking up right now. We might be well, able to get past them without even having to. And do okay, we see so another I'll, door in the I'll room? Just, no, no. I'll just fire. See this, I'll fire. See, uh, I fi- if I fire, it kicks it off. I fire. Okay. <laughs> so this this you is the room in. you're in right here. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna fire at the I'm gonna fire at the closest one I can see. Okay. Over the shoulder of over the shoulder of my new comrades, past rookie. Okay. Deep into the. Um, cobalt, closest cobalt that my arrow will reach. Go for it. Um, I am not using the actual clicking thing, so I'm going to open my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> um, longbow is... Okay, got it. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Woo! 16. 16. So you shoot, and it, your arrow flies true, and it... <laughs> It goes right past Rookie's ear, so like you, Rookie, you feel the feather hit the the a tip of your ear, and it goes <laughs> past her. And uh, roll me some damage. Ooh, yeah, damage is one d eight plus three. Coming at you. Okay, wow. so this arrow goes that's right. All, that's- yeah, this goes right into the head of the kobold that's directly in front of Rookie, and he falls to the ground, and the rest of the kobolds go, Creak? <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's silent behind everything. I was like, Creak, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Rookie, or uh, Arcasynth, you see this happen. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm thinking we might throw a magic missile because we can throw three darts. Yeah. And try to take since there's a bunch of them in there, we need to start doing some uh, s- some AOE damage. Yeah. So we're gonna throw a magic missile. That okay. work for you? Yes. So you get th- you get three bolts with this, and you can aim them at three different um, kobolds if you want, or you can. I said we just aim it uh, close to Rookie to try to keep try to get them away from her. Okay. I'm kind of just fascinated by the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like creak, 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 creak. <laughs> so we got. Uh, I rushed into after my attack. Hmm? Can I have rushed into after yeah, my attack? Yeah, absolutely. Where do you, where do you want to end up? I want to I want to end up in a far corner. Um, basically, I'm sorry. Um, if they're if they're, I'm sorry. I'm on the wrong. Thing. If they're, I'm assuming that everyone's like there. Yep. I just want to roll into a corner. I just want to roll into this corner right here. Okay. Yeah, you can get there. Yeah. They're drunk and they won't stop you. All right. So we're, we're throwing uh, th- uh, three. Uh, it's one d four plus one, but this, you yep. can't really do it like that. So we'll add the, we'll add the plus ones on. Yep. So you're gonna go after just one target, right? No, no, we're spreading them across multiple. Okay. Ones. Okay, multiple ones. Okay. So you got. So we threw a four, a five, and a four. Okay. So you launch these into the room. And you see one, as as, um, Xavier is running to the corner, you see one whiz by his head and blows apart one of the um, kobolds that was next to uh, the one that that Xavier killed. And then you see the other two arc to the left of uh, Rookie and two more kobolds go down. Nice. So, so four, four out of seven are down now. Yeah, so there's three kobolds left. Finish and off, Ruki. Now, now the kobolds see all of their friends dying, and they're like, creak. And they look at you guys, and they ru- Rookie, they rush you. I yell, creak? <laughs> <laughs> and then, the, then, they, then they, they, they stop. As, 
There's nothing. <laughs> as they get as they get close to you, they're like, "Wait, Creek? Oh, Creek, Creek, <laughs> Creek, 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 Creek." And then then he then he slices, and um, three does not hit you. No. The next the next one is like Creek. Twelve doesn't hit you, and the third no. one is like Creek. Yeah. <laughs> and a 20 is definitely going to hit you. <laughs> so that's going to be give me that D4, 3, 6, 8 points of damage. Oof. Damn. He, he hits you okay. against Rookie. Oof. Oh my god, I am so wounded right now. <laughs> okay. What's your HP at? 1. Oh, oh, that's beyond. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> you see this last kobold just shove his uh, dagger right uh, into Rookie's shoulder, and no. it it just you just see blood gushing out of her. Mm. Uh, doorway. She's about she's five feet. Middle. She's uh, right up clo close to the center. Oh, that's right. She walked in. That's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah, you did that to yourself. Okay. So all three. Yeah. <laughs> I, I look up at that kobold. I'm like, et tu, creek. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> 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 creek. So, so all three of you are, are good to go. So what do you want to do? Uh, I think it's time to start throwing firebolts. Yeah. I, uh, I'm trying to think of like, we can't, we aren't healers. So we can't like, Help Rookie not die. We can only. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna fire a bolt. My I already notched an arrow, so the closest kobold to Rookie, I'm just gonna fire my um, bolt into. Sure, go for it. Um, da -da -da. dice roller. <laughs> Come at you. Ooh, oh, so it hits. You, yeah. you let loose and it hits. You want to roll some damage? Mm -hmm. DH. Damage. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Nice. Through the throat. It goes right through his throat and out yeah. the other side and sticks against the back wall and that, that cobalt falls to the ground. Nice. So while, after I do that, um, now I have some, also have some movement. Um, yep. Thoughts. I'm going to just drop my you wooden bow mm -hmm. um and as i'm rushing forward um just draw my two short swords okay cool cool so so right. there's two kobolds left both attacking rookie at this point well, Our, can, we're, can, we're, I, we're, can i attack them or at least drink a potion yeah one of, my, my move sure sweet okay i'm gonna drink a a, a potion then i think okay. right now okay um it's, is that one d8 it's two d4 plus two okay um Two D four plus two. Yep. Dang it. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. All right. Yeah. You know, I'll take it. Yeah. No big deal. Nothing. <laughs> We're gonna chuck yeah. a firebolt out there and see okay. if we get one of the other two. Yeah, go for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you you. you build this massive fire in your in the palm of your hand and then you chuck it over and you lob it over and it goes above the cobalt's heads and they're like <laughs> <laughs> and it misses oh okay now Ruby, are they distracted at least yeah oh they're dis they're distracted yeah mm -hmm. maybe they're back's turn now yeah um Advantage. three is not gonna hit Rookie, Jesus, a three and a two. Uh, Rookie, they missed you. Nice. Um, now all three of you are up again. As soon as I can get close to one of the kobolds, yep. I'm gonna like kind of like slide in between the kobold and Rookie because she's still hurt, right? Yeah. Uh, no, she's yes, well, not not badly actually. I could I could still attack them. Yeah. Stuff. Okay, you're not at one anymore. I can't. No. Where are you at? Uh, I'm at six. What's your total HP? Thirteen. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm just, I'm gonna still slide in. Okay. Um, and and the one that's the like, closest to Rookie, I'm just gonna slide in and just do like a double cut. Nice. 
like across, like its gut. Yep. Um, does that count as two attacks? Because yeah, it's going to be two attacks. Okay. So two attacks without the actual proficiency. You you you. Uh, if if it's a two weapon attack, you don't get your um, damage modifier on the second attack. That's what it is. Okay. So do I roll one attack or two attacks? Um, you can roll two attacks. Okay. Two attacks and damage modifier only on one. Yep. On the sec or on the first one, yep. On the first one, right? Yep. So plus three. Your first attack. Okay, that misses. Second attack. <laughs> that misses. So. Oh no. So you do this amazing yeah. slide and very, very much you like risky business it right in between the two of them, and then your swords um, go kind of just skin the knees of the kobold and he's just looking at you like Cree. Oh man, this is short swords. You why did you bring short swords? <laughs> so uh Ruki and um Arkasynth, what do you want to do? We're ready to queue up another fireball. We're gonna go hit one it. of these damn things. Yeah, go for it. All right, we scream creek and then we throw <laughs> this. There you go. Oh there you go. Yeah. Um so what do you want? You're gonna kill one of them. What how do you want him to die? Painfully um, and, and agonizing. No, I was thinking the total opposite. I just, I just cut. Okay, you go. I, I think we hit him like in his upper torso, and his head comes off. But oh as God. his head's flying through, he's going. <laughs> like, so, so, you, so this massive ball of fire just builds up in your hand, and you finally throw it with such finesse that it lands right in his chest. And you just see an explosion. You see its, its face turn beat, beat red. And then pop! The head <laughs> comes off. And it goes past Ruki. Creak! <laughs> and then hits right onto the arrow that was stuck in the ground from oh. from Xavier. Or stuck in the wall. Um, like like reverse shaft? Yeah, yeah. It, it went... Oh. Right onto the onto the arrow. Uh, oh my gross. gosh! I was like, he died without any pain. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we disconnected his nervous system, so he probably didn't feel much pain. Yeah. So, Rookie, in front of you right now is Xavier, and in front of him is the last kobold. The last one. Yep. Do you guys think that we should um, try to interrogate him, or should we just kill him? Does anyone well, does anyone speak Cobalt? Yeah, we don't speak. Yeah, I guess not. And they can't speak English at all, or even Brooklyn, Broken Common. I mean, <laughs> or even Brooklyn. They don't speak Brooklyn. They don't, they don't speak Brooklyn. <laughs> Yo, Creek. Hey, Creek. 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 Hey, Creek. I'm freaking here. I'm freaking here. Yeah, I got a feeling we're not going to get much out of him other than Creek. So okay, I'm going to uh, go up to him and um, stab with my short sword. Okay. Doop doop. Okay, and boop. Nice. Okay, so you just yeah. strut around um, Xavier, and you kind of, you know, you, you laugh at him like he couldn't even get a, a hit off of this guy. And mm -hmm. as, as you're just walking around, you walk around behind the kobold and just jab him right in the kidney, and oh. he just falls to the ground. As, before he falls to the ground, I'm gonna whisper. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my my head next to his and, and whisper, Creek. Yeah. Creek. <laughs> Take that to the bank and cash it. <laughs> <laughs> and he falls to the ground and with his last dying breath, Whew. Creek. Does that clear the room? <laughs> yeah, and that clears the room. All right. Well, and guys, I think that is where we should stop for the evening. Nice, oh, nice. Shit. All right, awesome. we'll, fig we'll figure out what's in this room next time. Yeah, there's Very well it, it, in in the room. There's not much. Um, it's really just a, a drinking hall. You know, oh, okay. to eat. It's the pub. Um, so we, we but if you want to roll a uh, perception, you can. Yeah, let's do it. So did we? Did we just? We mostly just killed them. Oh, oh Jesus! Yep. I rolled a fourteen. I rolled a, a natural one, but add four or three. Um, the pro part. <laughs> final roll of the night. Xavier, um, on the table, you mm -hmm. notice um, a scarf that looks like it's bunched up. A scarf? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll go over that, go over to it, and just kind of like unravel it with my sword. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you're almost. It's almost like you're stirring cotton candy onto your sword. Like the the <laughs> scarf is 
is making its yeah. way up the sword. And it. yeah, yeah, and you throw you throw the you you flick the sword and the scarf goes mm-hmm. flying onto the head of the kobold that was impaled <laughs> on the arrow. I want the arrow back, by the yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> and you um find another uh bag of gold that's another about another uh 50 pieces of gold mm-hmm. and a um, hundred pieces of copper damn okay so i just kind of look at it and just kind of <laughs> um, i take it i sit up on you know like when you sit on my on top of the table of the bench yeah on the on the on the things and I just show it to the group and I and I just kind of let it plop and I said a promise is a promise you can have all the gold here as long as they can get my heirloom. Wow! I sit there, I sit there and, and and wipe the blood off my sword. Can I get can I take it and just be like I threw it on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to the ground! <laughs> Do the rest of the cake too. <laughs> well. I look at Rookie, and I I think uh, I, I think uh, well, you know, I don't know if uh, if Aver and uh, and uh, Baracus Baracus would have helped us in this one. I mean, like we kind of did this on our own, thinking yeah, we 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 split this one between the two of us, maybe. Hmm. Maybe maybe give uh, give a, a few over to our buddy uh, Xavier. <laughs> yeah, I think it's <laughs> Xavier. Oh, okay, sure. Whatever, whatever, Xavier. <laughs> you keep thinking that's your name, Xavier. <laughs> you know better. <laughs> this, is a, this is the name my mother gave me. <laughs> I do this for her. <laughs> Turns out your mother was wrong. Yeah. I mean, was, really? oh <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Should we split this? Should we give him a little bit? No, we'll, get, we'll give him a little something, something. How about, how about, how about... Uh, I take it graciously, and I say... Thank you. All right, so we'll, 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 get, we'll give him 10, and then I think we'll get 20 apiece. Okay. Does that work for you? I feel yeah. like we're going to give him anything. We have to go thuds in it. Like, you can't just give him, like, a, he did a lot of work. Yeah, but... I'm fine. Xavier I'll find has a way. to figure out his name before he deserves the loot. I figured right. out my name. <laughs> it's the name my mother gave me. All right, we'll, we'll give him... <laughs> we'll, 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 t- we'll give him 10 gold team. pieces, 10 gold pieces... <laughs> And uh, we'll give him all the copper as well. He can have the hundred copper, but Whoa. then we'll get we'll get, we'll get twenty and uh, you'll get twenty. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't want like a sack full of pennies. That's like the biggest insult to give someone. Like, yeah, we'll give you part of it. Here are all the pennies. <laughs> yeah, here's all the small <laughs> stuff. Like, thanks. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. So we we just added twenty gold. We could probably like use it as a weapon if anything. Yeah. Just a yeah. <laughs> it's like a, yeah. Like a fistful of quarters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Probably more lethal than most of our weapons. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Cool. All right. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Good yeah. game, guys. That was super fun. Good game. Thank yeah, you very much for including me. Yeah. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was, was awesome. Times. I can't wait for next week. I know. See you guys next week at seven. Yeah. I'm actually Thank going you, Eric, for running I'm the game. Be out next week. Yeah. Okay. Um, <gasps> what? Because no, of joking. something. Television show. Oh yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing a. I'm doing a Verizon thing next oh, Tuesday. Nice. So. Nice. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so I'll be out filming that. But Katie will be here, so I'm going to show her how to run everything. Awesome. So I think. Uh, I will be taking the ring. Oh god! So I'm going to be taking a nap. Well. <laughs> Wait, what? Taking a nap? No, I'll well, be I'm... just controlling us. You'll just be. I'll just. You're gonna we'll... speak for me. Yeah. We'll... Uh, I'll be yeah. And you'll just be like, I'm not talking to you. I'll be pouty. Yeah. yeah. This is the reverse of a prolapse head. Yeah. Yeah. Katie, Katie's uh, impersonation is like, and then Jack says. <laughs> yeah. <But> also, for, <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, we, we only have one. We only have one spell left too. So. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, thank you very much, guys. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. it was super awesome. Time. Thanks, everyone. Can't yes. wait for next game. All right. <laughs>